Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alicia, if this is your first time here. If not, welcome back. Okay, so I have gotten a lot of requests to do my makeup routine, especially the makeup routine you guys kind of see in my crochet and hair videos. Um, guys, I am, I do work as a freelance artist for MAC, but I am not the person that does these extravagant beads. My sister do them and they are great at them. However, I'm very impatient and I cannot sit down for 45 minutes. To do a face i just can't so a lot of my makeups are easy simple clean easy to follow easy to do no heavy blend like there's there's just none of that so um if that's something you guys want to see just let me know and i will definitely do more of them but i got a lot of requests about my just go-to makeup routine what i'm doing in the office easy simple so i'm just going to do that for you I will link everything that I'm using in the description box and then if you guys have any other questions just feel free to put them in the comment section. So let's get started. So I like to go straight into uh, foundation. Um, I don't have a favorite. I actually have five that are my go-to so let me just run through those. The Estee Lauder Double Wear, love that one. Um, Black Opal True Colors, really like that one and it's really inexpensive. Marc Jacobs Shameless. This one doesn't give um, heavy, like full coverage. So normally if I do this one, I have to do two rounds of foundation. The Fenty Beauty because who doesn't love Fenty? Um, and then the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. So those are my five favorite, my five go-tos. Um, you guys have probably seen plenty of the Fenty foundation. So I'll start with the Clinique. Clinique Beyond Perfecting and then if you guys tell me that you want to have more makeup tutorials from me I'll eventually show all the different five foundations, but it's they're five of the favorites that I like for Dark skin tone without having to blend three or four foundations to get your shade So I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting two concealers but one is not really light enough to conceal me and the other one is too light so I'm having to mix them right now this is the 410 in Fenty so I just put that kind of where I want to highlight and then because that one's not really going to give me the highlight that I'm looking for I'm having to go behind that and do the NYX in the NW40 I'm normally a three 90 or 385 in Fenty, but um, I ran out so I got the 410 thinking it was going to be okay, and it's not. In November of 2012, so oh, oh, oh. Once that's done, I like to set everything before I put on some baking powder. And so I am using the L'Oreal, Loria, Laura, who are you? Laura Mercier setting powder, and this is the medium deep. like to do a little bit of baking while I'm doing my lashes and then my eyebrows so I'm using the ColourPop no filter setting powder and this is in banana and then I have this little bitty small beauty blender I got this at Walmart they come in like a pack of them so this is what I use to get right under my eyes just to give me like a little bit of a pop not that much so I'll put this on my eyes, I'll put a little bit on my forehead, and then I'll put a little bit on my chin, and maybe on the nose area. And so this will sit on there and bake, um, probably for about, mm, for about five to five to 
I wouldn't say 10 minutes because it doesn't take me that long. Five minutes or so, long enough for me to do my, um, my eyebrows. Okay, so brows, I only use one product and it's amazing. I use the BH Brow Pencil. One of my um, old college friends put me on this on her Instagram. Thanks, Audrey. And I've been buying these in bulk ever since. If you get them on sale, they're like two to three, no, maybe like three to four dollars on BH when they have a sale. So I get like seven or eight at the time because I never, ever, ever want to run out. I just used the pencil to kind of outline so I did all of this at the bottom and then a little bit at the top just where my arch is I'm gonna take the same thing and I'm going to blend in the the back part of my eyebrow or the end of my eyebrow this thing is just it kind of reminds you of the spiked brow pencil but like a fourth of the cost. No shade, but shade. And so once that's done, I like to take this eyebrow shaper or eyebrow tool or whatever this is called. It's like an angled brush. I got this from a crayon case. And then I'm just going to use this to blend in the top or the front part. I'm so glad thick eyebrows are in now because when thin eyebrows were in, you know, like around college, so like 05, 06, 07, it was terrible having to go to the nail salon to get them to wax off all my thickness in my brows. So now that they're back in, I'm not going back out. Thick brows will always be back in for me. Even if y'all decide to switch, I will always be thick. So the difference between that one and that one, and like I said, not that much, but enough to give me a little bit of definition. So let me go ahead and get this one out of the way. Okay, so eyebrows are done. Once again, they're always sisters. They're never twins. I've given up trying. I don't do the upper part. I don't consider the upper part just because I just don't think I, I need to, but I do conceal the bottom part and I use the same concealer from MAC that I used on my face the NW40 so I just take the end of that this is a precision brush I got from the crayon case they have the best brushes and then I just conceal under my brow weird but I need to um, put some eyeshadow on my lid and on my eyes so that you can't see the concealer this is the Mac neutrals palette and I just simply use this one because it's as close to my skin tone like I said I don't put on any um, eyeshadow whatsoever when I go into the office so this is just really to blend the concealer that I use to um, blend out my my brows so nothing nothing at all gets put on here I might add some highlight to kind of give my eyes a little pop but other than that I don't 
I, I never, I can't remember the last time I actually wore, like, eyeshadow to work. I don't like to do heavy contouring, but I do like to give my face a little definition. And so I use blush. This is like a, my favorite MAC blush palette that I created myself. You know, you can now create your own palette. You can clearly tell which one I use most often for my blush. I will be using that one. But I like to use this one, which I think is called Swiss Chocolate. And it's really, really dark, so it's able to give me the um, contour that I'm looking for without having to do the whole foundation and powder and blending and yada, yada, yada. So I just use this, and then this is a brush... Bella Pro, but I think this came in like one of my Ipsy boxes. So I just, not a, not a lot because a little goes a long way. Just, I use this and then I kind of shake it off and then I just apply it below my cheeks. See, that just gives me a little bit of definition to my face not a lot this is being on long enough so let's go ahead and sweep that off I'm just using this NYX professional makeup brush absolutely love this brush I actually got this brush um, when I was doing an event at a store and I, I got it I said oh pick pick whatever you want you can tell me but twice you know where I'm going to I'm immediately going to the brush section so I got this so I'm just gonna use this brush to kind of blend all this together I'm going to go back to my blush palette and put on my blush it's not I like it because it's kind of like a nude or a neutral and I don't know which one this is called. Shoot. Let me let me take it out because I need to let you know which one this is called because it's a great, to me, a great nude neutral. So let me see if I can't pull this out. All right, this is called Format. That's the name of the blush that I'm about to put on. And the name of that other one that I used to contour was is actually called Swiss Chocolate. So Format and Swiss Chocolate are um, the two that I used. So let me go ahead and brush that on. Okay, so before I do the highlighter and a lippy, I want to go ahead and do my lashes. I don't do any um, eyeliner, but I do do lashes um however if you cannot put on your lashes without touching your lid basically showing off the glue you can apply liner um i do mascara first i'm going to do the buxom plumping mascara i'm going to put that on my lids first all right so while that's drying i'm going to apply some lashes these are salon perfect 110s um these are my everyday lashes they aren't they don't do the heavy wispy look but it's just a little something to give a little definition to my lashes um there are two duo glues i don't know if you guys know it there is the normal you know duo splash glue and then when i went into walgreens i saw this that's the duo quick set strip lash adhesive and dark tone y'all this glue you know how normally you gotta wait like 30 seconds and you gotta this is not that glue. You normally, you can wait like five or 10 seconds and apply this glue. Love it. I don't know when they came out with it because I hadn't seen a post about it, an Instagram store. I heard nothing about it, but it's got to be new because I just now, I'm just now seeing it. So let me go ahead and put this on my lash. All right. So this one should definitely be close to dry right now. Let me go ahead and apply this. Some people can use their fingers. I'm not there yet. I have to use tweezers to apply it because I'm not putting on any liner. I need it to go immediately on my lash line. Ooh. 
This glue is life changing. All right, so the lashes are on. They've been on for about uh, three to four minutes. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on the ends to kind of give them some definition. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And if you're wondering, yes, most of my mascaras are trial and travel size um, because it works easier for me to throw one in my purse. It's easier to travel with. It's cheaper. Um, and then I always, most of the time, like this one is like six months. So if I like to do one mascara for my actual lids, I mean my actual lashes, another mascara for my falsies, and then another mascara for the bottom of my lid, there's no way I'm going to go through full, like, size bottles of that in six months. So that's why I like to buy travel sizes. So in case you were wondering, yes, most of my mascaras are travel sizes. All right, highlighter. This is the Luna highlighter, Luna by Luna Cosmetics. This was in my Ipsy box a while ago. This is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. I don't use the standard um, highlighting brush because the last time I did, I just couldn't get the precision that I was looking for, and this one gives me enough precision. So I'm just doing that on the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to use that to put a little on my nose, a little bit on the end, I'll blend that in a second, and then a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then for fun, because why not, I'll put a little bit up here to kind of give me some highlight on my brows. And this is when I say I don't do eyeshadow, but I'll do a little bit of highlight. This is what I mean. I'll put a little bit of highlight up there. And I'm just going to take my finger to kind of blend in what I did up here. All right, last but not least is the lip. I love a good bowl lip to kind of zhuzh up the whole makeup look. My favorite matte lip is Milani. They have their um, lip cream, their matte lip cream, and I like this one for two reasons. One, the price point is absolutely amazing, and two, I don't like to just reapply my lippy throughout the day, especially if I'm at work and I'm getting busy and I don't feel like having to take it out. I don't have to reapply this. Like, once this is on, it's on. Like, no coffee, no straw you can eat through this entire thing so this is normally what I will put on throughout the day and they have really really good colors Done. So this is the lip, guys. This lip, like, do you see anything on my face? Do you see like my cup of coffee? What red do you see? Nothing. This. If I, if you don't buy anything else, and they are not paying me for this, I wish they would because I would love some of your products. This lip cream is absolutely amazing. Anyway, off kilter. This is the look. Nice, easy, simple look. Like I said, this probably takes me about 15 to 20 minutes, which is perfect considering that I normally get up late or just don't want to spend all day on my makeup look. Um, I think I kind of told you guys everything that I use, but if not, I'm definitely going to put everything with proper links in the description box. If you love this look, if you want me to do more makeup looks, please, please, please let me know so I can bang them out for you guys. Don't forget to check out all my other videos because I have a lot. Like, I've actually been doing good. I've been trying to post at least once a week. It's been hard, but I love you guys and I appreciate you guys for following me on this journey. So go check out all my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next week. Bye.
That's all I'm saying. Bye for real this time. <laughs>